So guys, today a Bafna video on the channel today we have the new Castle United vs West Ham preview at the London Stadium Sunday kick off I can't wait Newcastle United and West Ham have been dodged over by VAR in the last week so we'll want a nice a nice game a nice game of football no VAR shite hopefully but before I start off the video make sure to leave a like subscribe to the channel if you haven't already it would mean a lot if you could do so but let's get the video boys we've got a lot to speak about VAR West Ham Newcastle we've got a lot to speak about in this video let's get in the video now so then West Ham as we all know I've got to mention it now I was going to do a separate video about the VAR stuff but I was like I just don't want to sit here and scream and shout I'm not someone to sit here and get views just for screaming and shouting do you know what I mean people like to see it fair enough I'm not going to sit here and fake reactions and whatnot and I just really didn't want to do a video on the whole VAR stuff I was going to but I thought no anyways West Ham we all know what happened last week let's speak about it West Ham were robbed were absolutely robbed the fact the referees looked at that and went that's a foul on Mendy if Mendy doesn't react if he gets up and tries to save corner shot that gets given the fact that he sat down and rolled around on the floor it needs sorted out and I do feel for West Ham just conceding to then two minutes later make a 2-2 away from home at Stamford Bridge you live in the dream and for that to get disallowed because of Bowen literally and what's Bowen meant to do he's, he's not he, he kind of just freeze he kind of just not st step over Mendy he, it wasn't it wasn't even a bit of contact like that that literally all it was. It, it was beyond a joke, and I would have been fuming if I was a West Ham fan. I would, really would be. But this season they've been a little bit off. It, slow start of the season they really did have. Starting off with a turnover loss to City, got beaten not in the Forest, then got beaten at Brighton and not scoring a goal in any of their any of their games. But they did do well in the Europa League. Conference League getting through and then they get their first win of the season at Aston Villa I think Pablo Fornal scored in that game and then a 1-1 against Tottenham and then obviously just got beat at Chelsea so they've had, they, they have had a tough run of games they've had City Tottenham and Chelsea in their first six games so you can't really say it's absolutely shocking by West Ham but you'd expect them to beat Nottingham Forest expect them to be Brighton yeah and then um Two was your one, and obviously the big Villa. So, looking okay for for West Ham. Obviously, a big talking point as well for this game as well is Lucas Paqueta. He was, I wouldn't say heavily linked with Newcastle over the summer. He was linked with Newcastle in the summer, but there was never really intention of Newcastle United trying to sign him. And that's it's sad because obviously we all know the story of him and Bruno, the the, the best pals. And then now they turn into enemies on Sunday. It'll be shit to see because they, they, they love each other so much. And knowing that they've got to look at each other and be like, I've got to dislike you for 90 minutes of football. It's it's shit. They shouldn't be like that in football. Why could he not just sign for Newcastle? But West Ham have got an absolute talisman up there. What a player that is. Obviously, Samaka, Italian striker, doing well. And obviously, um, on BBC Radio at the minute, Wilton and Antonio are doing like a podcast sort of thing. And they've been joking on saying like, none of them are going to play anymore because Isaac and Samaka and, and whatnot. But um, I think that'll be a nice... If, if Wilton's fit, I don't think he will be. It'd be nice to see him and Antonio have a little nuzzle on the pitch and whatnot. But... Um, West Ham, David Moyes, he's done an incredible job. Obviously, as we all know, he got sacked from the job at West Ham and then returned. Everyone was a bit surprised when he returned. I think it was when Pellegrini got sacked in the 1920 season, kept them up, and then since then, West Ham have just been non stop building and building and building. Do I see West Ham getting top seven this season? I don't. I, honestly, it's gonna be it, this season looks so tough. You don't know who's gonna go up. I mean, you don't know who's gonna go down. You don't know who's gonna get top seven you don't know who's going to get the top apart from City top four even it looks like a really interesting Premier League season and West Ham will be in the mix of it throughout the full season absolutely but they've got a great team but if we have a look at their team that did play against Chelsea um, so we'll have a look Antonio did start off on four now Paqueta started his first game Bowen obviously is a fantastic player Rice and Suchek very big fans of them Emerson at left back they've got good options now in left back they've got well obviously they've got Corny who can play left back and um, they've got some good players obviously we, we know the kick cutter no the cut kick out Kurt Zuma with um, KF who they've signed from West Ham obviously Kufan and Fabianski I'm surprised Aviola's not playing because if you look at Fabianski he, he's 37 now he's getting towards the end of his career but um, they've, they've got they've got a good set of players West Ham if we look at um, some of their injuries at the minute I don't know who's um, injured at the minute 
Um, can I find this out? Yeah, so they've got Cresswell out injured, they've got Johnson out injured, Dawson, Samaka's um, doubtful, and then the new signing from Rene's um, Agreed. Oh, I said that completely wrong, the centre back. He looks to be injured, but we've got, we Newcastle have got injuries as well, obviously, we'll speak about them, but. West Ham have done really, really well um, in recent years. Will they want to pick up three points on Saturday? Absolutely on Sunday. Absolutely from obviously what happened against Chelsea. They'll. I think West Ham will put up a good fight against Newcastle on Sunday. Right then, lads. So Newcastle. Obviously, we all know the recent news with the VAR and stuff. Both obviously West Ham and Newcastle were rightly robbed, and even the Premier League and referees have stated and whatever whatever group of the went with on on Sky Sports has said. Both teams got robbed, so I think for, for the fair, for the fair enough, we we should just fucking no matter who loses, we should get three points. But nah, it'd be nice to see like if, if a game like this was the end of like three three, it would be it would be lethal. It would be really good to see a game like that. Um, but like the City game, hopefully we come back from the comeback and not getting be three one. Mad, anyways. But. Newcastle have obviously got injuries at the minute. Obviously, as I mentioned before about Lucas Paqueta, is Bruno fit? Is Maxi fit? I'm recording this on Tuesday night, so I've got no idea. We've seen Bruno do it, um, a, and then uh, what was it like a fan beat up in the club shop with Almiron, Joe Linton, and Javier Mangio. That to me seems like he's fit. The Instagram post seems like he's fit. The overall feeling looks like he'll be fit. We'll obviously see for the trainer photos throughout the week if he is in it or not. Same with Alan, Alan St. Maxim in. But he is a big talking point. We've looked so dead in that midfield. No, I wouldn't say dead. It's just you miss that bit of magic in the midfield. Joe Linton's the, the bully, the, the bulldozer who gets it and gets the tackles in. Joe Willis a graft and Sean Longstaff plays the passing. Bruno does all that in one. So. By him being there, it makes them up Willick, Joe Linton, whoever else is in the midfield, play better no matter if um, who, who's around him. Who, whoever's with Bruno in the midfield makes them play better. Bruno's a massive factor in this game, will he play or not? Because it's it's a game where I would say you risk him. If he's not 100%, I'd say if he's 90%, I'd say you've got to play Bruno. For a game like West Ham, can Sean Longstaff go to the London Stadium with 60,000 fans screaming in his face? Can he hack it? Can, can Willock hack it? Can any of them hack it? It's going to be such a tough game for Newcastle. We know all the West Ham have got this this system, the 4 2 3 1, they've stuck for, for the last couple of years and will get at Newcastle. But with a set of teams and whatnot we've got, it, it, it'll be a tough one. It, it, it will be um, going into the game. It's, it's an interesting Sunday, obviously, on telly and whatnot. As always, Sunday kickoffs, but. Prediction. I want to see goals. I think we deserve to see goals after what happened on um, on Saturday with both teams. I'm gonna go for two two. Newcastle love the draw at the minute. One win, four draws, one defeat. Should be five draws. Um, obviously against Liverpool, but what can you do? Um, it, it is a tough place to go. The London Stadium. They're on a bit of a high at the minute um, with the Europa League. Or oh, West Ham playing in the Europa League actually this week because. If they are, they are they're at home in the Europa League. I completely forgot about that. That will affect them. Obviously, I'm recording this before the game, so I don't know what the score is and what the video will go up beforehand. Um, the, the, the team they play will show who will play on Saturday. I didn't even think of that. I'll stick with me 2 2, though. Anyways, boys, that's the end of the preview. Make sure to leave a like, boys, subscribe to the channel if, if you haven't already. I completely forgot that West Ham had that Europa League game. It, it, it completely flashed my mind. Will affect will it, will affect them, obviously, but we'll have to wait and see what happens. Anyways, boys, see you in the next one. See you for the predicted team tomorrow and the game on Sunday. Hopefully, Newcastle United can get back to winning ways and pick up three points at the London Stadium.